the king is reported to have quietly gifted a new home to one of the late queen's closest aides. Angela Kelly, who was Queen Elizabeth II's dresser, has reportedly been granted accommodation by the king for the rest of her life. It is believed that the gifting of the home near Guizeli in Yorkshire is Charles honouring a promise of lifelong accommodation for Miss Kelly made by his mother. The 65-year-old dressmaker was asked to leave her cottage on the Windsor estate within months of the Queen's death. In a social media post last week, the docker's daughter from Liverpool, confirmed she was saying goodbye to her Berkshire home. The King is believed to have purchased Miss Kelly's new home which will revert to the crown when she dies. M.S. Kelly became increasingly close to the late Queen throughout her more than 20-year tenure in the role and became more of a personal assistant towards the end of Her Majesty's life. The late Queen even gave Miss Kelly permission to write books about her role and the monarch had once told her, we could be sisters. But she is understood to have rubbed some staff and senior members of the royal family the wrong way with some even giving her the nickname AK-47 owing to her quick temper. Friends of Miss Kelly feel she has been poorly treated in the wake of the Queen's death, following a long career of loyal and devoted service, and has become a casualty in what some have dubbed the King's property merry-go-round. However, a source close to Buckingham Palace told the Mail on Sunday, the narrative that the King is heartless has all been very wide of the mark. His Majesty has never wanted to see anybody homeless, particularly someone who has been so loyal. Another source told the paper, Angela wasn't everybody's cup of tea but nevertheless the King had no wish to see her homeless. I get the impression the King just didn't want to be living next door to her. The late Queen's former confidant was seen leaving her Windsor home yesterday. In a social media post showing a picture of the property's garden, she wrote, getting ready to say goodbye. I am moving at last to my new home which I will be able to call my home at last. Responding to a comment from a friend, she replied, I'm moving to the Peak District just further on than Sheffield so not too far away from the family. My work phone has been disconnected but hopefully you have this one, looking forward to my new adventures. With smiling emoji. In a defiant Instagram stories post, she said, I am too old to worry about who likes me and who dislikes me. I have more important things to do. If you love me I love you. If you support me I support you. If you hate me I don't care. She subsequently posted a gif of a child chanting, I can't do negative today. Positive vibes, positive vibes. M.S. Kelly was widely credited for overhauling the Queen's image with outfits in bold colours and matching hats. She described the late Queen's funeral as a very sad day, adding that she had said goodbye to my best friend.